Now let us move on to the first question in the exercise. The question is, without actually performing the long division, state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So now let's move on to the solution. We consider the first rational number given that is 13 upon 3125. So to state whether the given rational number has a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion, first we shall write the denominator as a product of its prime factors. Therefore, we shall factorize the given denominator that is 3125. This can be written as 5 times of 625 and 625 can be written as 5 times of 125. 125 can be written as 5 times of 25 and 25 can be written as 5 times of 5. Therefore, 3125 can be expressed as 5 multiplied by itself 5 times. Therefore, 3125 can be written as 5 power 5. Therefore, the factors of 3125 are of the form 2 power m and 5 power n where m is equal to 0 and n is equal to 5 in this case. Therefore, the given rational number has terminating decimal expansion. Now we shall move on to the second bit in the question. So let's go to the solution. Now we need to find whether the decimal expansion for the given rational number 17 upon 8 is terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So to find whether the decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating repeating, we shall first write the denominator given as a product of its prime factors. Therefore, we shall factorize the denom denominator 8. 8 can be written as 2 times 4 and 4 can be written as 2 times 2. Therefore, 8 can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2 which implies 8 is equal to 2 power 3 times 1 which implies 8 is equal to 2 power 3 times 1 can be written as 5 power 0. Therefore, the prime factors for 8 are of the form 2 power m times 5 power n where m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 0 in this case. Therefore, the decimal expansion for the given rational number is terminating. Now let us move on to the third bit given in the question. So here we need to find whether the given rational number 64 upon 445 has a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. To find whether the decimal expansion is terminating or non-terminating repeating, we shall first write the given denominator as a product of its prime factors. Therefore, we shall first factorize 455. 455 can be written as 5 times 91 and 91 can be written as 7 times 13. Therefore, 455 can be expressed as 5 times 7 times 13. Therefore, the factors of 455 are not of the form 2 power m times 5 power n where m and n are natural numbers. Therefore, the given rational number 64 upon 455 has a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion.
let us move on to the 8th bit of the question so the given rational number is 6 upon 15 here we need to check whether the given rational number has terminating decimal expansion or a non terminating repeating decimal expansion for that first we shall simplify the given rational number since 6 and 15 are multiples of 3 so we have 6 by 15 is equal to 2 by 5 now in the obtained rational number that is 2 by 5 the denominator 5 is a prime number therefore 5 can be written as 5 times 1 which implies 5 is equal to 5 power 1 times 1 can be written as 2 power 0 therefore the factors of the denominator are of the form 2 power m times 5 power n where m is equal to 0 comma n is equal to 1 therefore the given rational number 6 by 15 has terminating decimal expansion